You're watching Voice of the Heroes. I'm Marie Westbrook. I'm the voice of Hanami, uh, Dorio, and Ikumi. What's good, everybody? It's the one and only and only one, Flea Boy Jetson, and you're listening to the number one anime podcast in the world, Voice of the Heroes. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, click that notification bell so you can be notified for more interviews and great discussions on your favorite heroes and villains from across the multiverse. And today we have a very special guest. That's right, man. My guy, OG Banks, is in the building. What's good, my brother? How you doing today? <laughs> How you doing, Jay, man? Good, good, good being here, man. Good being here. Hey, you got to tell me about the name, man. You sound like, is that a stage name? That's your real name, OG Banks? No, it's my real name. I'm, I'm the third. My dad's name is OG. Grandfather's name is OG. It actually means today. Um, but, uh... I don't know the whole history of the story of of uh, of my name of the story, you know, and all that. But um, yeah, it's it's my real name. Born and raised with it. I'm the third. Yeah. Hey, I love it, man. It's a unique name. It's it's <laughs> one of the best. Sounds like a rapper. <laughs> Sounds like you got an album coming out. Like OG Banks with the album out. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about it, man. How did you get into acting, and what inspired you to be an actor? Okay, well, um. I was in the music industry, actually. <laughs> I was in the music industry. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get it. <laughs> so I was, I was an R&B singer. Um, so um, I was signed to a record label for a little bit. Then I started getting uh, wet in my feet in the acting, in the acting, uh, in the acting world. Um, did a couple little things here and there. I did the movie Newsies, you know, where I was kind of like an actor dancer in that with Christian Bale. And then from that, I kind of just. Uh, got into the world of um, voiceovers. And uh, when I got into the, and how I got into voiceovers is uh, I knew nothing about voiceovers. I knew nothing about it. I was doing this other thing, but my agent sent me on an audition um, and, and, and I studied it and I studied the audition. And when I got in the room, the guy had a picture of a cartoon character on, on his wall. And he said, I want you to do your audition, but make a voice for this character here. And I was like, what? <laughs> but I just, I studied this, but you want me to be this as this? And he said, yeah, just put a voice on it and do your thing. And, and I did it. I got called probably like a month or two later and I booked a job and it was Space Jam with Michael Jordan, Ooh. you know? And, and so from, and that's when I was like, shoot, what's up with this voiceovers? This is the bomb right here. So that's when I really started going into voiceovers, finding out about it, you know, um, got into Naruto in the early phases of Naruto. Um, and um, just, um, it just started going, but that's how, but I really got, got started by doing all kinds of other things, singing, dancing, acting. And then, and then like, you know, you put all that together and like, you know, and I got into that world. I just kind of followed the path that the, that it was leading me to, you know? That's great. Are you a fan of any of the material that you've done? Like, Oh yeah, definitely. I'm definitely a fan. I mean, uh, like the new characters, like uh, Omoe from Naruto, um, uh, Muhammad Ali Jr. You know, from Baki, stuff like that. Yeah, I love. But then, and then also the classic ones like uh, Miles Morales or uh, Power Man. You know, stuff like that. Um, you know, those are. It's 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 hard for me to to watch my work because I'm just really critical of myself. So I'll be like. Oh, I could have did that better. Oh, I should have did better. Oh, I should have, oh, mm, 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 you know. But of course, I, but I love it. Of course, I always, you know, I always find myself in the back of my room in the corner by myself watching and like, you know. <laughs> now, <laughs> now you did say Omui and you said Darawi, right? You played a couple of characters. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, played, yeah. in Naruto. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. was the situation that you know where you had to stop playing Darawi for a second and um, Colbert had to step in? But I noticed you was actually played Darawi again in the Barto movie that came out. You know, you got me, Jay, on that one. I really don't know. It's like, they call me up and like they're like, okay, you're going to play this today, and, you know, which which was Darawi, and I was like, you know, that was back then. I was like, okay. Now, I know I'm only, but okay, I'll do Darawi too, and then I did that, and then they, then I didn't hear anything, nothing, and then, yeah, for that Barto, then they call me back for that, so I don't really know how that works. Um, you know, like uh, my very first character on on uh, Naruto was uh, a character Kakashi, which was uh, 
you know, I was the ramen noodle kid in there. You know what I mean? And I got, mm. you know, and so it's like when they call me for that show, it's um, my stable. My stable has been Omoe. You know, that's always been my thing. But I've been in and out of sometimes these other characters, too. And I don't I don't know how that I don't know how that <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any of the lines from those characters that resonate with you in any type of way? Oh, oh. You know, uh, what is it like? Uh, yeah, with Omoe, it's, uh, you know, it's like, loud strike. You know, it's uh, all that, uh, all his terms that he uses for uh, for his battle, his battle screams, you know. Those are the ones that, uh, that get to me the most. Uh, that's the one that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. But there's always some crazy ones that I'm always screaming at the top of my lung. Those those are, are always always the ones that get me. And also, Omoe, he had this uh, scene where he's walking to a village, and uh, he's walking to you know going to save the village. And the whole time he's in his mind thinking about once he saves the villages, how all the girls in the villages are gonna love him, and they're gonna pamper him, and they're gonna feed him grapes, <laughs> and they're gonna give him massages and all this kind of stuff. Um, that that was I was like, who is writing this? I said, I love this. I love this. <laughs> I love this character. I, yeah, I'm like, that's how I would think if I'm gonna save the city. You know, I'm like, <laughs> you know, so um, those are the kind of two like his uh, so his battle cries, and then like that one little. Cerebral scene that I had there. You know, those are two things that stand out. All right. We talked about some of the characters that you played. Now, from the superhero genre, my God, the list goes on. Like you said, Miles Morales, Power Man, which is some might know as Luke Cage, Clayface, The Patriot, Firestorm. My God. Are, are there any roles that you would like to reprise and maybe or have their own show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would I would love that like uh, from Unjustice Two that Firestorm story. I would mm. love for that to like expand and grow. That would be really cool to like explore that. You know, because you got the two people in that one one person. You know, so that was that was really fun to play. You know, like I play my character, and then uh, I think it was Fred Tatashar. He 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 played the other character, and like you know us coming together and like being Firestorm. I think that just that whole story dynamic just blows my mind. Now, of course, Miles Morales. I mean, I love Miles. You know what I mean? I, I'll play him anyway, but they keep changing him, any, you know, all the time. Um, but my favorite that I played was Luke Cage. That was my favorite because they didn't go to the, the older Luke Cage. They went to the, you know, like the, the younger Luke Cage that had more spunk and energy like I do and had, you know, kind of like that attitude that I liked and, um, you know, <laughs> and kind of really like, discovering his powers, you know, um, uh, with Spider-Man. So, and, and the fact that we were, it was like Spider-Man, but we had a team, you know, so it was, so that was great. You know, that, that, you know, I just love that, that whole concept and that just, um, just being in there, like, um, the sessions that we had when we recorded, those were like, those were the funnest sessions of my life, you know, just the funnest ses sessions, the good guys on one side, the bad guys on the other side of the room, I mean, it was, I mean, the energy in the room was just like, <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I see you played in a couple of um, Spider-Man um, iterations of the cartoon from Spectacular to Ultimate. Um, my next question, though, goes a little from the heroes to the villains. If you could play a villain, what villain would it be in the MCU or well, in Marvel? A villain, I I would love to play the Riddler, something like the Riddler. Mm. You know, I I would love the Riddler or the Goblin. You know, one of those two. Uh, those uh, I don't know why, but that just sticks out of my head. The Riddler sticks out of my head just because of the, you know. I, hey, I, I don't Riddler. mean to put you on the spot, but let's get your best Riddler right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> wait, what the, how does how does the Riddler talk? He's like. <laughs> <laughs> riddle me this, riddle me that. Oh, you know, um, <laughs> let's go. Hey, I like it. Hey, you, yo, I can see it. I really can see it. I can see it, man. Yeah, yeah those are, yeah. I, I like those, those, those two. You know, I like it. Not, yeah. The evil characters, I gotta say, like, playing like evil baddie characters, I mean, those are the best. Now, sometimes, now, the only bad part is like, you might just come in for a few episodes, you know, you're not in for the whole series. 
But when you get to play a bad guy, you really get to let loose, you know? You really get to bring those, like, uh, evil juices and just that, <laughs> like, you know, just that whole thing with it, you know? Um, it's it's great. It's great. And especially when they have the bad guys that, you know, that 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 have a lighter side, too. You know, they're bad, but they have, but they show the realness of them, too. So you really get into the, you know, that's a... You know, I just love those kind of characters. You know, those are those are just so much fun to play. So much fun to play. I mean, you have to have fun when you're playing a baddie, though. You have to have fun. Hey, just hearing you go off the Riddler just now, man, it seems like you was having a ball with it, man. I could, I, that's why I said I could see it. I could definitely see it. Are there any upcoming or ongoing anime series you would love to be a part of? Uh, ongoing, uh, upcoming. I can't really talk about un upcoming because I, you know, Ooh, they, they make a you got some crazy. cooking, y'all. Yeah, you got yeah, some yeah, cooking, y'all. Yeah, but I do, I do have some stuff coming out for sure. Um, but yeah, I have to be hush hush on that. But yeah, as far as the ongoing stuff, um, you know, uh, uh, what's what's ongoing? Um, what is ongoing? Um, you got Demon Slayers, JJK. Solo leveling, um, Bart. Yeah, well, I you're in Baruto. Um, yeah, Baruto. Of course, yeah, Baruto. Big yeah, fan. you're I, in. I, you're in Baruto. So I'm trying to think. Yeah. What else is ongoing that's really popular right now? Blue Lock. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, to to be honest, let let me be honest. I would love to be on any of them joints, okay? Like, if I can find my way or find a character to be on there in any of them joints in any kind of style, fashion, or way, that's what I love. I mean, being in this business, um, you know, I audition for all kinds of stuff, but, you know, I throw things out there, but I, I don't necessarily know what, what people are going to vibe with, what the, what the director's going to vibe with, what the casting's going to vibe with. But once I do get hired for something and, and I go in there and I'm able to create and they... They tell me about the characters and I'm able to develop something. I mean, that's that's the true magic. So just being, for one, I just appreciate it. And I love just being able to be invited to audition for the show, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care what show it is or what game or anything, just to, be, uh, just to be able to audition. And so then to throw it out there, to give them the audition, but then to be chosen to be like, to be on the show, whatever show it is, I mean, that's a straight up honor. I mean, you know... Um, so I mean I appreciate all that and um shoot I'll be down to be on any show. I don't you know, I don't care. <laughs> Speaking of video <laughs> games, out of all the video games that you played in, are there any that you would like to see made into an anime or a live action that you would like to be a part of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Red Dead Redemption 2, that mm. was a go that, that oh, was Oh, that, that would be that would be hard. That would be that would be dope, right? Like yeah. a western type of western type of dealio, right? Uh, and it was funny because I'm not that good at video games, but when I did play Red Dead Redemption 2, I found my character, right? And so <laughs> when I first found my character, I was like riding on the horse, <laughs> as you know, the guy. And then all of a sudden, I ran over a boy and, I, and it said, oh, excuse me, sir. And I said, oh, that's me. <laughs> so, so I turned my horse around. I ran over myself again. I said, oh, excuse me, sir. I ran over myself again. I said, oh, that hurts. And I ran, I, I probably ran over myself like 50, 100 times. You know what I mean? I was, I was laughing. That was the best. But that is, that's one that I could totally see. Like, uh, that would be dope if they made like a movie or a show about that. That would be dope. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Now, yeah. um, we're going, before we get into one has to go, right? I'm going to ask you a series of, of questions. I do gotta okay. ask you, right? Um, they're coming up with a um live action Naruto movie, Lionsgate. It's in okay. early development. Who would you like to see play a character if it wasn't you, like Omui or Darawi? Who would you like to see cast as one of those two characters? Uh uh, well. <laughs> uh, who would I who would I like to see cast? Um mm. Wow, that's a that's a good question. That's a good question. Dang, you be ask me some hard questions, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who would I like to? Oh uh, well, Homoe. Wow, that would you know I somebody that's flexible, somebody that could do all that sword fighting and everything too. Uh, God, I don't know. 
I don't know. I I mean I don't. I don't know everyone. Things off the top of my head. Um. Shoot, man, give me the give me three people, and I'll tell you the one that I, I think. That I... I think the guy, what's his name, man? He played in the Book of Clarence. He was um. He wasn't Clarence, but he was Clarence's best friend. He also was the Blue Ranger in the reboot of the Power Rangers. Um, yeah, this gentleman right here. I'm gonna show you a picture of him. Yeah, show me pictures. This gentleman right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, he kind of even looks like Omoe a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He would play a. I think he yeah. would play a dope Omo. He, he would be good. Yeah, he would be. He'd be real good. He almost even. Yeah, he almost looks like Omoe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's a. Oh, that was good. That, that's what I was thinking when I when I thought about it. I was like, yo, he would play a a perfect Omoe. That was that was good. That was that's a that that you spot on right there. Yeah. All right. So that's now good. my last question: Are there any lines or any one of the projects you ever worked on where you had to bring out some type of extra emotion or feeling to hit those lines and if so what was those emotions mm. um emotions yeah yeah oh okay yeah there was a scene and uh in the spider-man where um it was my parents it was a scene that was like, you know, the backstory of my parents and how I lost my parents, how my parents died. And, you know, they saved me because they were on an airplane. They pushed me off this air, pushed me off the airplane with the parachute to save my life. And um, and in the show, I was explaining the story of, uh, well, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you got to, you know, because they really set it in you. But. You know, but they, you know, but explaining that whole story of my parents and me living and then seeing the animatic, um, you, you know, I really had to, you know, dig deep and like everybody, the whole room was silent and everything during those scenes. And I remember it was such a, it was a hard scene. I had to do it over and over again because, you know, you, you know, at first, you know, you, you feel it, but then you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta, get a little bit out of your emotions to, you know, see what's on the paper here and really get in the scene and, and then mash that all together. And then, then you have all these other people, all these eyes looking at you and all these people around you looking at you as you're trying to get emotional in the scene. But when I finished and I pulled it off, it was hard as hell. But when I pulled it off, it was like, that was like spectacular. Like that, I felt so good to do that. But the, but you pull, but you, you pull emotions from, all the events that happen in your life, but then, but also when, when you're thinking of, you know, the scene and what's going on and, and when you're really enthralled and put yourself in the scene, I mean, it's easy to really get yourself there emotionally, whether it's hard emotion or whether it's like up high, funny, funny, you know, cause sometimes you got to keep that funny up there, but how you keep that energy, right? You got to mm -hmm. maintain being in that scene, you know? So, um, I don't know if I answered your question correctly, but, uh, <laughs> No, that's a good experience, though, and that's a good session yeah. that you had that brought that to light. All right, now yeah. your top three animes of all time. We ask every one of our guests that come up here. It ain't got to be the popular choice. It ain't got to. It's your opinion, whatever you enjoyed. And it could actually even have been a cartoon that you watched growing up. So it doesn't have to technically be an anime, but your top three. Okay, okay. Um... Uh... Okay. Um, well, <laughs> I mean, I did love Baki. I mean, I got. I'm sorry. I do, I do love Baki. I know I'm. Baki in that, was but, dope. Yeah, the, you know, it's uh, all that fighting when the, when I see those bones cracking and all that. I mean, I just oh, <laughs> like you know that just gets that just gets me. Um, oh, what was that? Um, uh, I I do love. I'm a classic. I love Dragon Ball Z. I've always loved some Dragon Ball Z. I've always loved that. You know what show I really enjoyed? Oh, um, oh, My Hero Academia. That I love that one. That that was good. But that one show that um whatchamacallit was on, that uh uh what's his name? Uh I think it was Jaden Smith was on that or something like that. It was that one like little independent one. Um uh 
Oh, One Piece. I've, I've been I've been getting into One Piece lately. Oh, I've been getting okay. Into, yeah, I've been getting into that lately. I've been getting into that lately. I've been enjoying that one. I've been enjoying that one. Um, hey, that's uh, a good one. Ain't you? You not on that one yet? That's a good one. You could try to get on. It's still what, ongoing. That's yeah. That that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, I'd love to get on that. I'd love to get on that one. Believe me, I'd love to get on that one. Um, but yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to do a game. One has to go. I'm going to give you a couple of names. You choose which one has to go out of the okay. two. We're going to start with the Avengers or the Justice League. Oh, Avengers. Superman or Batman? Mm, Batman. Nike or Jordan? Uh, yeah. Jordan. McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Drake or J. Cole? J. Cole. Naruto or One Piece? Well, One Piece. <laughs> he said, well, One Piece got to go, man. I, I wouldn't be working if Naruto <laughs> yeah, went. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming to the oh. show. It was a pleasure having you. If you're watching... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Voice of the Heroes for more content on your favorite voice actors. This was episode with OG Banks, and man, it was one of the best yet here on the channel. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. We're out of here. Peace. Sing it with me, pretty Cali, pretty, pretty Cali.